these cases forward. I think one thing to note, Brianna, about the 2008 case is the victim that was in that videotape. She did not testify in that trial. And jurors who talked about deliberating on that case, they were, that was a big issue for them. That was a sticking point for them, the fact that the victim herself did not come forward and testify. And they did talk about not being able to make a depositive identification of R. Kelly. Uh, based on what Sarah has said about this new videotape, that's not an issue. The issue of identification of R. Kelly appears to be not the issue in this new tape. But we don't know about this victim. We haven't heard a whole lot, Brianna, about this victim. Is this victim one of the people that testified before the grand jury uh, that has indicted R. Kelly? Is this victim someone who's willing to come forward and testify at a trial? Uh, I agree that the R. Kelly documentary gave voice to so many women and gave women uh, who had been victimized by R. Kelly, I think, the courage to come forward and tell their stories. And apparently, the Cook County District Attorney was able to talk to some of those women, talk to other victims, and to have them tell their stories. And that's very powerful uh, for what's happening today. All right, uh, Ariva and Clay, Sarah, if you could all stand by. Uh, we have much more on this ahead. We're actually about to hear the specific charges. We know there's been an indictment. Uh, we are going to hear more on the specific charges of that indictment. Plus, we have our breaking news out of Florida. The owner of the New England Patriots charged with soliciting sex, and a warrant is now out for his arrest.